In this video, we're going to discuss the settings that are needed in the Corcon side of the software. And this is preparing for the Corcon link. The first thing we want to do is go to our main menu, log in as administrator, and then we're going to click on the icon that looks like a small gear at the top right next to your company name. That's the global settings button. And there's a couple things that we're going to want to make sure of. First, you'll want to make sure that the accounting system under external applications being used is set to the correct software. So in this case, it's going to be called Sage Simply Accounting. That was the older name for the software. This may change to Sage 50 Canada at some point, but they are the same software. So I'm just going to change that. And that the country underneath my ship and bill to address also say Canada. And if I go to the license and add-on information, I should see a Corcon link for Sage 50 under the option description. And when I go to global settings, my default currency is Canadian dollars. In global settings, the main thing we'll check here that the fiscal year start is the first month of the year in your fiscal year. And we do recommend that you use one of these two options. I'm using the lock transactions, specify locks at transaction level, administrators can unlock. But you could use either of these. These are both set up for Corcon link. And then, of course, the rounding is to the second decimal. And click Save. Next, you're going to want to go down to Lists and make sure that you've already imported your cost code structure. This is a master cost code list. There's information on how to do this in Help. There's also some information you may want to consider under feature settings. For example, contract admin. In this case, we recommend the first option to be checked. Uh, usually the second is not checked. That's the include pending transactions and previous calculations. And this third is optional, whether to re include retainage calculations. If you've changed these, you're going to want to come down and click Save. Under procurement, we do recommend that both of these be checked. This is do not allow subcontracts or subcontract change orders to be modified after the sub invoices are created and uh, check duplicate invoice numbers, bills, and sub invoices. These all help with your Corcon link. Under time and expenses, there are a few options. And if you make any changes, just remember to click save. We next are going to want to download the program. So to do that, I want to come back over to my Sage 50 Canada and I'm just going to make a note of how I got to this. In fact, I'm just going to copy this so I can remember it in a few minutes. I'm just going to close Sage 50 Canada for a moment. Go back to the Corcon Help main menu. I'm going to go to Corcon Link Utilities, back into Sage 50 Canada. And this time I want to go to the installation instructions. And I'm going to scroll down. Now note that the Microsoft.NET framework needs to be at least version 4.6.2 or greater. And if you need help with that, uh, make sure you just talk to your IT person or provider and uh, they can usually help you, although there is a link here if you'd like to try to install that yourself. Just need to make sure your workstation that you're using is already using the Microsoft.NET 4.6.2. This is a free download from Microsoft and it's very easy to install on in most cases. I'm going to be using the installation instructions for a new installation. However, you could also be downloading this to a remote desktop. So if you're using a cloud server, using remote desktop to connect, uh, that no, does need to be downloaded onto that desktop directly, uh, not onto your local desktop. And you may need the help of your IT provider or, or your network manager. But I'm going to be using the installation instructions for a new installation only because I'm using a local desktop. And I'm going to scroll down. I'm using Sage 50 Canada 2018, and I'm also using the Quantum Accountants Edition. Uh, however, uh, you might be using one of these other two. They're, they do come in patches. Uh, the best way to do that is to open your software and go to Help and About, and it'll tell you which one you're using. So you may need to select a different uh, download. I'm going to use this one. 
I'm going to click install and run. Okay. Next, I'm going to just log into my Corcon link program, just like I were logging into Corcon itself as administrator. And we're going to pick it up from here in the next video, which is the video titled Corcon Link to Sage 50 Canada Sync Preferences. If you'd like to see the help information that we discussed in today's video, simply go to the Corcon V8 main help menu, go to Corcon Link Utilities, under Sage 50 Canada, click on the Corcon link for Sage 50 Canada. And we discussed today the installation instructions and the data setup recommendations.